now to our extraordinary Earth on Ice. TJ has ventured over the Atlantic, heading to ice flows and immersed himself in the lives of harp seals. Uh, it, this is an incredible but threatened spot outside Prince Edward Island. And TJ is there. Let's go back. Yeah. All right, good morning to you, George. And you know I would never steer you wrong, so trust me when I tell you. This is the cutest animal on the planet. We're talking about harp seal pups. Now, most people have seen them in pictures, but that's the only way you probably will, because to get to them, you have to take a plane to an island, and then from an island, take a helicopter out there and land on a piece of ice, and that is exactly what I did. But I wish I could tell you this was just a cute story. This is also a climate change story and how it's threatening to wipe them out. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, you guys, you can start to see what looks like, like chocolate sprinkled on the ice. You're looking at perhaps the biggest and coldest baby nursery on earth. I feel alive. Harp seal pups, thousands of them. I am on an ice floe in the middle of the Northwest Atlantic the person really helping me survive out here, National Geographic Explorer, Jen Hayes. Let's see how they greet. Let's see if they meet with that note. Yes, that's mom. That's mama? She's, she's calming her pup. She just gave it that nose-to-nose -nose kiss of recognition. Are you my mom? Are you my pup? That little guy, too young to go in the water, and see he's coming around. That's insane. Mama seals migrate once a year in search of a good, stable ice platform to give birth. Oh. Jen suggests I introduce myself to this one. Hey, guy. Ah, no. Me too. No tea. I did, and this little guy and I got acquainted. To be clear, this species, they cannot survive without ice to be born on. They need about three weeks, sometimes up to four, to learn how to be a harp seal mature and be able to survive on their own. Over the last 30 years, warmer temperatures have led to less winter ice. We're slowly warming towards this, this Gulf St. Lawrence without sea ice. Peter Galbraith, a research scientist for Canada's Department of Fisheries and Oceans, estimates that in just 75 years, these animals will no longer have any solid ice. There's no escaping it. I mean, it's, it, it's completely tied to, to global warming. But even before ice potentially disappears altogether from this area for good, increasingly thin ice, like we have this year, poses a real threat. And Rebecca Aldworth from Humane Society International has seen that firsthand. When I first went up to the ice flows, you could drive vehicles across that ice. And today, we're seeing very thin, broken up ice where we should be seeing solid sea ice. In some areas, there's no ice at all. And these animals are dying because of it. Watch this week's old pup climb on Jen, struggling to find solid ice. Right here, see him? He's actually in the water. If he doesn't get back up on good ice, he'll drown. We're gonna watch him and see what he does. Can he get up on his own? He can, because this is kind of an accident. He got in there looking, probably thinking it was good, it was good and solid. <laughs> okay, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it, he's gonna get to solid ice. There is no stopping this as long as the world keeps pumping CO2 in the atmosphere. Global warming will continue and winter air temperatures will get warmer and sea ice will get weaker. Weaker ice, less ice. One day, no ice for them? Our world is changing. And as it does, their world is disappearing. Everybody has an impact on this planet. Every one of us. And I think if we all felt we were part of this bigger ecosystem, that we might actually look at what we do every day. I feel alive. So we tell them the story, and then possibly these stories make an impact on some of their decision making and their behaviors. Good morning, America. 
So what a story, and I kind of let them tell their own story, if you will. And it, it's not just about those cute, adorable faces. Uh, they are in trouble. Now, let me give you the good news, guys. The health of the harp seal right now, the population is stable. That's a good thing. There's a stable population. But as one of the scientists put it, we don't ever have now good years and bad years of ice. They're just okay years and bad years, and that's not a good thing. But again, go out there. It's not an experience I ever thought I'd have, but they got to tell their own story guys and, and, and TJ first of all thank you for going up there to share the story with everybody and this is is heartbreaking at the same time because this affects the future generations yeah. of harp seals and and what you saw our kids and grandkids may not see what you saw up there so what did you share with your daughter from your trip there well, first, I had to share the disappointment of why I couldn't bring one back. Uh, Sabine <laughs> kind of had a hard time getting that around her head. But other than that, you do. You make the point, Stray, that I got to do this, right, not an experience I ever thought I'd have. Okay, great, it's stable. So you think in years and years down the road, will those kids not actually get a chance to go to the Gulf and see these animals because they're not there? That's terrifying to think of. And also, what an illustration. Look, I, I put the cardboard in this bin. I put the glass in this bin, right? I put the cans in that bin, recycling, and I, because I'm supposed to. But to see how decisions we're making directly impact and is taking yeah. away a world from an animal and to see that, that I understood or see climate change in a way maybe a lot of people don't get to experience. We do the right thing because we're supposed to, but to see it like this still kind of strikes a different chord. Yeah. Boy, well that put. Is That's critical why lesson. we yeah. are doing this series. Yeah. Amazing. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.